All right, guys, today's the day. We're doing a brand new updated 2024 pros and cons of if you're thinking about moving or relocating to Sacramento, California. Now, all of these pros and cons videos that talk about Sacramento, California are gonna talk about the weather and they're gonna talk about the allergies. And while we do also agree with some of those things, that's not what this video is gonna be about. Now, these aren't the same pros and cons that we've given you in the past. Some of these are new, some of these are different. Some of these are things that you might not have even thought about before or you might not even think are relevant to Sacramento. Now stick around until the very end because the number one pro and the number one con are probably gonna be our favorite reasons of why we love and why we hate Sacramento, California. All right, so we're back in Sacramento. We're getting ready to start our first 2024 pros and cons of what it's like living and moving in Sacramento. We've got Leonardo DiCaprio down here. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. He's filming a video. We're at Golden One. Lauren's gonna share with you some of her pros and cons for thinking about moving or relocating. I'm gonna share with you some different ones that we haven't really talked about on this channel, but the first pro that I wanted to talk about for if you're thinking about moving or relocating to downtown Sacramento is going to be the fact that Sacramento is actually a really diverse city. Now, a lot of people don't really think about it, but Sacramento was named one of the most diverse cities that you can move to if you're thinking about moving to a large city. Now, what a lot of people don't really realize, and this is a question that we get a lot of times when people are thinking about moving or relocating to the Sacramento area is, how diverse is the city? Now, while we can't provide you with any specific numbers, there are several articles and several resources that have touched on the facts. So you can find them in Sacramento News and Review, you can find them on the Sacramento Bee, but Sacramento has been named one of the most diverse cities that you can move to in 2024. All right, so my first pro for living in Sacramento is definitely gonna be the location and proximity to everything around here. So Sacramento is conveniently located close to so many fun day trips. So if you ever get bored of living in Sacramento, you can easily take a quick day trip to get away and change the scenery. So some of our fun favorite day trips are gonna be going to Lake Tahoe, you can go to North Shore, you can go skiing at so many awesome resorts like North Star or Palisades. Um, you also have South Lake Tahoe where you've got Heavenly. So skiing or snowboarding is something that you love to do. The proximity from Sacramento is awesome because you're only about an hour and a half to two hours away from the snow. Now, this is also an awesome thing for the summertime because going up to Lake Tahoe and hanging out during the summer months is something that's always fun too. Lake Tahoe does an awesome fireworks show over the lake that's super fun. It's usually crowded and there's a ton of people there but it's just a really great vibe and a really great place. Boating on Lake Tahoe is really fun too. All right, so for location and proximity, on the, on the flip side, you're also only about an hour and a half to two hours away from San Francisco. So if you wanna go into the city and hit up some shopping or do some tourist things down there, you definitely can. It's a quick, easy drive to get down to San Francisco and hang out in the Bay. Um, it's also super fun to go down there and go Christmas shopping with all of the different stores they have located in the city. And we do have a ton of shopping up here, but the proximity from Sacramento to San Francisco is super easy, super convenient. So if you've got family in the Bay or if you wanna go down there and hang out. Now you're also conveniently located close to Napa. So you're also located within a close day trip to Napa. So if you enjoy going to wineries or doing different wine tastings, that's always fun. So as you can see, there's so many different fun day trips that you can do if you're living in Sacramento. It's super convenient. It doesn't take a long time to get to all of these places, which is awesome. It's not like Southern California where to do a quick fun day trip, it can take you a half a day or a whole day just to get there. Sacramento is conveniently located to all of these awesome things. Now, the next pro that we wanna to touch on is gonna be the fact that Sacramento is affordable. When you're comparing Sacramento as one of the largest cities in the state of California, and you're comparing it to other cities in California, Sacramento is one of the most affordable places that you can consider moving to. So we get a lot of people who are deciding to move up to Sacramento from Southern California. They're deciding to move to Sacramento from maybe the Bay Area, San Jose, San Francisco, Pleasanton, Danville, pretty much anywhere else in the state of California. Sacramento is gonna be one of the more affordable places that you can move to. So we're gonna have everything from 
more affordable housing to more affordable utility costs and more affordable just way of life. So the nice thing is, is when you're deciding to relocate from Southern California or the Bay Area, you're gonna look at housing costs or living expenses, and that's gonna be one of your biggest chunks as it relates to your cost of living. Now that is going to be one of the best pros about if you're thinking about moving or relocating. So if you have any questions specifically about certain areas in the greater Sacramento Metro, whether it's Sacramento proper or you're thinking about moving or relocating to any of the surrounding suburbs like Lincoln, Roseville, Rockland, Granite Bay, Folsom, or anywhere in the greater Sacramento Metro. But make sure you reach out to us. That phone number is going to be popping up. We are the ones that answer every phone call, email, and text message on what it would actually be like if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento Metro. All right, now the next pro that I wanna share with you is going to be all of the different job opportunities here. So if you're thinking about relocating to Sacramento or maybe you're looking to make a job switch, Sacramento has a ton of different opportunities when it comes to working here. We have all of the major hospitals located in Sacramento, places like UC Davis, Sutter, Dignity Health, Mercy. We also have Shriners Children's Hospital here as well. So if you're in the medical field, there's tons of different opportunities in the greater Sacramento metro area. Now, being that we are also the capital of California, there's a bunch of different opportunities for jobs when it comes to government and state jobs. So whether you're looking to get a job directly in the capital, or maybe you're a lobbyist, or maybe you're working for a different lobbying firm, or maybe you're looking for a state job, Sacramento has all of those things when it comes to job opportunities as well. And there's always new openings coming up when it comes to the government jobs here. Now, another thing when it comes to job opportunities is we also have a ton of different education here. So we've got Sac State, we've also got UC Davis close by. Um, so if you're looking for a job at the university or the college level, we also have multiple community colleges that are local to the area. Um, we also have a bunch of different high schools and elementary schools all throughout the region. So if education is something that you're looking for, these places are always filling jobs as well. Now, another job opportunity when it comes to Sacramento is we have a ton of different tech jobs here. Um, so many different companies have relocated from Silicon Valley up to Sacramento just because it's cheaper here. So if you're in the tech industry or if you're in any of these other industries, there's a ton of different job opportunities for you in Sacramento. Now, the next pro on the list for me is definitely gonna be that Sacramento is a bike friendly city. So not only can you bike around all of the streets to easily get around Sacramento, Sacramento also has a ton of connecting trails. So you can actually make it from Sacramento all the way to Roseville. You can go all the way to Folsom. Um, you can go even further than that. There's so many different trails that interconnect Sacramento to all of the local suburbs. So if you're a bicyclist and getting outside and enjoying riding your bike is something that this city does accommodate. And we do have really great weather here, so it's actually something that you can do year round. Now our number one pro of reasons why you should consider moving or relocating in the greater Sacramento Metro is going to be all the different things that you can do here. So we're outside of Golden One right now, obviously where the Sacramento Kings play, but basketball is definitely not the only thing that happens here at Golden One. They definitely have uh, a lot of different big name artists that come in through here. We've seen Tim McGraw, there's Journey. There are a ton of different uh, big name musical events that also come through Golden One in addition to uh, you've got Kings Games, you've got PBR, which is the professional bull riding. You've got the monster truck. Everything that you can think of is gonna happen right here at Golden One. But there are also gonna be just really awesome things that are unique to Sacramento. So Sacramento's got an awesome food scene. There's tons of different restaurants that are gonna be both locally to downtown Sacramento, but throughout the greater Sacramento Metro, whether you're in Rockland at Chef's Table or you're at any one of the local Bakuni Sushi restaurants that are down here. Just in this little section of downtown Commons, you're gonna have Punch Bowl Social, you're gonna have Tipsy Putt, you're gonna have a ton of different restaurants, you're gonna to have Tom's Watch Bar that's gonna be out here, but this is gonna be an awesome place where you can check out all the different things that are gonna be going on just down here in downtown Commons. Now, expanding beyond that, you're gonna have Old Sacramento Waterfront that's gonna be just on the other side of the freeway. You're gonna have Second Saturday Art Walks that are gonna be sporadic throughout Sacramento. Farmers Markets, you're gonna to have tons of awesome art galleries, local art galleries, you're gonna have the Crocker Art Museum, and you're gonna have a pretty awesome local craft brewery scene here. So definitely one of our favorite things about Sacramento is gonna be all the different things that you can do here. But those are just some of the things that make Sacramento so awesome.
All right, so on to our cons. Now, my first con for Sacramento is going to be the political atmosphere here. Now, regardless of whether you're liberal or conservative, it doesn't matter. The fact that Sacramento is where the state capital is, there's always different protests going on down by the capital, um, regardless of whether you're a conservative or a liberal. So that is something to be aware of. You know, the political atmosphere up here can change a lot, depending on who's running for office, who's not in office. Um, and the closer you get to the Capitol, the more of that that you'll see with different activists and lobbyists outside. Now, the first con that I'm gonna talk about, and I've touched on this a couple of other times in our videos, that's gonna be the limited public transportation. So when you're in downtown Sacramento, you're gonna have the light rail system and you're gonna have the RT bus system. But if you're outside of Sacramento and you're in one of the residential suburbs, it's gonna be a little bit more limited as it relates to your public transportation. So you are gonna have a light rail system that's gonna take you from downtown Sacramento over to Folsom, uh, old historic Folsom, which we've shown you, and you are gonna have a light rail system that's gonna take you into South Sacramento. But if you're anywhere along the 80 corridor, um, the light rail system stops at about Watt and 80. So anything east of that going into Roseville, Citrus Heights, or anywhere else is gonna have limited public transportation. Now there are certain situations where there are some you know, transfer buses that'll take you from Roseville, or you can take the Capitol Corridor train, but then you're spending a majority of your day on public transportation instead of something that's a little bit quicker. So keep that in mind. So there are gonna be some park and rides that are gonna be located throughout the area, but if you're not really wanting to spend a majority of your time commuting, that is going to be one of the major cons that we talk about on this video. Now, the next con for me is going to be educational disparity. So while there are a ton of great schools located in and around Sacramento and all of the including suburbs, there's also a big disparity depending on what neighborhood or what specific area that you live in. Now, not all areas are created equal when it comes to education. So some schools have higher ratings. Some schools in the inner city have much lower ratings. There's also schools that are located in Sacramento that have great ratings. So it's something to be aware of that depending on which neighborhood or which area you decide to live in, the ratings across these schools can greatly vary from you know, lower ratings on greatschools.org all the way up to 10 out of 10 schools as well. So it's something to be considerate of if you're thinking about moving to or living in Sacramento is that depending on the area that you live in, the education that your kids get could be completely different. Now, kind of going hand in hand with limited public transportation, and that's gonna be like Sacramento doesn't have a traditional beltway system like you see in a lot of cities like Atlanta, Houston, um, even areas like Dallas. Big cities usually have a beltway system that goes all the way around the city. So you can come into the city from a couple of different directions. And if you're on the north side of the city and you need to go to the south side of the city, you can kind of bypass the city and make it all the way around and then hit on one of the other exits. But with Sacramento, everything as it relates to the city are all gonna be arterial veins that are gonna go directly in and through the city. So if you're living in Roseville and you've gotta go over to Folsom, there's no direct shot. Or if you're living in Roseville and you gotta to go to the south side of Sacramento to like Elk Grove, you've gotta go straight through it and all the traffic, all the congestion is going to be bottlenecked in and around Sacramento. So whether you're on Business 80, Interstate 80, or you're on Interstate 5, you're gonna to have to make your way through or around downtown Sacramento. So it would be nice if Sacramento did have a beltway system, but as of right now, that's going to be one of the biggest constraints is there's not direct ways to get to or from or across the city. All right, my next con for living in Sacramento is gonna be the bugs here. Now we don't have crazy bugs like Florida, or Australia, if you've ever been to any of those places, but we do have mosquitoes. And depending on what time of year it is, the mosquitoes can get pretty bad here. So right now we're in the end of February. It's been a pretty wet winter with decent amount of rain, and they haven't had the opportunity to spray for the bugs here. So lately, if we're outside or we're going for an evening walk, I personally get eaten alive by mosquitoes. They absolutely love me. It's one of those things that can be super annoying if you like to get outside. Now the mosquitoes don't necessarily stay all season or all year. They're just kind of there and present up until the vector control comes in and is able to spray. And with how wet of a winter we've had this year, they haven't been able to spray yet. That'll be coming probably in the first couple weeks of spring, but it is something that we have to deal with up until that point. So if you're like me and bugs love to eat you, mosquitoes are an issue here in Sacramento, so just be considerate of that. Now, as I'm talking about the number one con, I will say I am really proud of what this city has done over the last 10 or 20 years to make it a 
better place to live and a better place to move to. And they definitely improved with certain things like Golden One, but our biggest con, or I guess the biggest thing that we're not really loving about Sacramento is that it's starting to get crowded. It is one of the more affordable places that you can live in the state of California. You're close to a big city. They've got some awesome suburbs and some great outdoor recreation, but you know, it is one of those things where we're starting to see a little bit of overcrowding in this area. So, you know, it used to be one of those things where Lauren and I would like to go out on date night and you would only need a restaurant at some of your bigger restaurants, like your Ruth Chris or your Morton's or some of your more fancier steakhouses. But now it's starting to be that most all of these places are starting to require reservations and or you're starting to have, you know, 30, 35, 40, 45 minute plus waitings just to get into a restaurant on a Friday or Saturday night. So everything is starting to have a little bit more of a wait time. Everything is starting to have a little bit more congestion. The traffic is starting to get a little bit worse. So, you know, one of the things that, you know, we're noticeably starting to see, you know, Sacramento has done an awesome job making this one of the best places to live in the state of California, in my opinion. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like California at times, but it's definitely getting a little bit more crowded. But keep that in mind when you're thinking about that. Sacramento is starting to get more crowded. It is starting to get more congested. And we are starting to see a lot of people influx to the greater Sacramento Metro, whether you're coming from the Bay Area, whether you're coming from Southern California, or you're moving from out of state, or you're moving from out of country. So keep that in mind. It is starting to get a little bit more crowded. You know, as you start getting towards a little bit more of the uh, suburbs, it starts to thin out a little bit more, but downtown Sacramento, Sacramento proper, you are gonna start noticing a little bit more of the congestion. Now that was our most up-to-date 2024 pros and cons of if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento Metro. Now, keep in mind, there are a lot of great things about Sacramento, but there's also some things that you should probably know about if you're thinking about making the move or relocating to the greater Sacramento Metro. All right, so that phone number should be popping up. You can send us a text message, shoot us an email, or better yet, the QR code should also be popping up where you can schedule your live one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with us. In that call, we can help go over all of the differences, the pros and the cons to relocating to Sacramento and answer any questions that you may have or maybe even things that you haven't thought about before. Absolutely, so that phone number is up there. Go ahead and reach out to us. We are the ones that answer every phone call, email and text message or better yet, watch this playlist of videos and get to know everything that you need to know about if you're thinking about moving to the greater Sacramento Metro and we'll see you on the next one.